Okay, I'm gonna film this giant cannon because this cannon used to protect the city and this wall would protect the city as well. And there's a big fortress up here. I filmed it recently, but I'm just gonna highlight this particular one because I'm gonna follow this one right here. Camino dos Artilleros, like the street of the artillery. So what I'm gonna do is just highlight this wall a little bit, talk about these cannons, a little bit about the history, and then we're gonna walk up to the top here and we can see these cannons. So we're gonna go back up to where those are as well. And we'll do a whole video with this focus, Caminos dos Artilleries, uh, Artilleros, the uh, road of the artillery. So let's get started with that. Chiquinha. Chiquinha. Go check out the road. Chiquinha. Hey, after you watch this, tell me what you like most about it. Put it in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so you can see when I make other videos too. Okay, so this is a giant fortress, and um, it kind of goes, you can see kind of a circle, square parts. So it goes, um, protects, and I think these are little watchtowers right there. So that's a watchtower right there. And I think there's two watchtowers. There's another one up there too. So there's a couple watchtowers. There's cannons right there. So that's, um, so of course you can be in that watchtower and just look out the smaller window. And there's a little circle one too. You can look out that one too and kind of protect yourself a little bit from the, uh, anybody that's um, coming to attack. Who would attack the Portuguese in Macau? Um, strangely enough, it'd be other Europeans. So actually they kind of had an arrangement um, with the Chinese. So they would basically, they had a, Europe, Europe had some far superior power, so they were able to protect the city. Um, they had, and the Chinese didn't really have that same um, gunpowder military power. So they would allow the Portuguese to come here and then they kind of created a mutual relationship. So of course Portuguese would, um, live here and create a um, kind of a business community basically and, um, and then China allowed it of course and then in, in exchange the Portuguese would protect um, Canton like, um, which is the major city the Cantonese city of uh, Guangzhou now so let's go up in here and then we're gonna go up to the front I would just kind of highlight all this stuff. So this stuff was, oh, I forgot. There's a sign here that I wanted to highlight right here. This one. So this was built in 1600, 1617, and 1726. So it took about nine years. Um, it held off the Dutch invasion in 1622. Um, fortress is an irregular trapezoid. Um, military barracks, barracks, cannons, wells, ammunition supplies to last up to two years. Um, there were no weapons facing mainland China, indicating the fortress was only built for defense against attacks from the sea. And the people coming in from the sea were people were predominantly other Europeans. So um, let's go up there and check it all out. So predominantly the, the Dutch were one of the biggest ones. I think the Dutch came and tried to attack a few times. And they were all over like Indonesia and places like that as well. So there was actually, um, it's kind of cool as well. Very Portuguese. We're gonna go up here. So they would, um, so they would fight against predominantly other Europeans that were coming in that maybe wanted to take over this city or try to get up into the Canton, um, Guangzhou, not modern day um, Guangzhou, which used to be called Canton. So we're going to see this big row of cannons over here. And yeah, so I guess they're all facing the sea and they weren't, none of them was facing China because China wasn't a threat. Actually, there's no way they could really defend against China anyways. Well, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe they could have, but I think there was always people from Europe coming in. So it was the best interest of China to have the Portuguese protecting things. This is interesting. These cannons go this way, which means that they could go they could technically fire that direction if they needed to. It's kind of interesting. And then you had some cannons that also go this way too. There's a little watchtower. I guess this is another little thing there. Then you got cannons everywhere here. So all these cannons were built by the Portuguese with the uh, gunpowder that they had and the 
technology they had. Pretty interesting. And I guess they would pra practically go in almost every direction except for all the sea directions, but they wouldn't be able to go up to the... Um, I think we're going to get a pretty good view up here. Oh yeah. So okay, so now we can see what this would overlook. Over there is Gia Hill. And then all of this was um, basically the northern part of Macau. You can kind of see down in there, there's um, Grand Lisboa Casino. Really nice views. And then we got some cannons on that side and this side. So let's go down this side. And then we're going to try to look, overlook our street, which is the uh, street of the artillery, road of the artillery. Camino dos Artilleros. Portuguese. Got some nice pigeons up there. So this is one of our watchtowers. They also got a bell up here too. That bell looks really cool. Whoa. That's a really cool looking bell. They got a watchtower that's closed. Oh, see, it's in Portuguese, 1984. Oh, it's a replica, 1984. Okay, so that was our focus road right there. And we got this beautiful cannon. So, so we're basically just doing one side of the fortress, this uh, placing on this, on this row of cannons. And, um, and they were saying that the cannons all face the sea. So we'll just kind of take a look. Um, I think I do see cannons that are facing that way over there. Looks like this row, maybe not so much because this would all have been overlooking the land. And then over there, I think there was a few, but not many. Okay. So pretty interesting. Lots of cannons everywhere. And I guess we're probably going to end this one in a moment. We kind of get to see a little bit more of Macau history. Then yeah, this would have been one of the entrances. There's like places to rest. Some seats in there. Looks like they've been there a while. And yeah, a little taste of Macau and a taste of Macau history too. And as you can see, there's definitely all these cannons on this way. They're like loaded up, so I guess they could just fire off tons of cannonballs from this whole side. And oops. And then on this side, there's not so many, but I think I saw some. There's a couple right there. And then we're just going to end it on this side, and that'll be the end of our artillery street. These, and yeah, basically this whole fortress goes around all four sides, right? There's the Paolo ruins down that way. That's part of China. That's the pier, the historical pier. I mean, now it's a yellow hotel, but before that's where all the boats used to come in a long time ago. And that's where all the row of cannons are, that whole row right there. Okay, so I guess we're going to end it. Right there. We'll end it at the cannon. So I hope you like that one. Macau. Shikinya. Shikinya. Go check out the room. Oh, hey guys. Three things. Like, subscribe, make some comments below. It'll really help out my channel. Alright. Shikinya. Shikinya. Oh, my boy, lost the whole TV.